Hello everybody, Puzzle Pieces here with more of Nancy Drew, and we are going to be playing the next installment. It is called Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. So uh, without further ado, let's start the game. Welcome to my latest case, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Mm -hmm. To start playing, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. If you're new to a junior, that, remember <laughs> Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad has up in his office? Well, she just bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. Mm. Oh. We're talking major fixer upper. Major fixer upper. Night, need the property she brothers. Desperately needed my detective skills. She refused to say why over the phone. Naturally, I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately. But weird things started happening the moment I pulled up. Ba -ba -ba. First, this big tree fell down behind my car. Ooh, nice car. Walked in. And then I discovered that Sally's gone. Sally's she gone. Left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here I sit. All right, so we're here at the cabin. We are waiting for the phone to ring from Sally so we can take a look around while we wait. Oh, we got dog statues. So we have Vitus, Iggy, Lucy, and Xander. Actually, one of my dogs in the past name was Xander, so. So it's a good name. Good name for a dog. Got a broom. We have a clock. Probably a clock puzzle for later. Yeah, this is death, so basically it's rotten floorboards. Ah, the telephone. Ring, ring, ring. Okay. What's to be scared of? It's so peaceful and quiet here. Just wait until it gets dark. It is dark. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. Uh. One of your trees seems to have other plans for me. What do you mean? A tree fell down. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. It's late. Won't the store be closed? Where's my brain? Okay, look. I just bought a little outboard motorboat. I haven't used it yet, but the guy who put it in for me said it should run just fine. It's tied up at the dock outside. Just get in it and go. Go anywhere. Just get away from the house. Why? What on earth do you think is going to happen? The dog. It was a dog. Oh. Sally, you're breaking up. Teeth and claws. Teeth and claws. Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? Yep. So we can either call Bess or Sally, but Sally seems to be check out squeaking mice. Okay, so Yeah. That's going upstairs. We don't want to go upstairs. We want to go figure out what that sound is. Hmm, sounds louder. Hello? Oh. A what? Oh. Oh, 
She just whispered, calm down, not. At least it's not hot dogs. Actually, that'd be delicious. <laughs> Yeah, down this way. Oh. There are the dogs. Alright, thank you. Alright, so first night. We're gonna lock ourselves in. Oh. This is not good. The dogs have opposable thumbs. Oh, and they can play with the electrical work. Yeah, so we're gonna just oh we're gonna take a look outside here. See what's out. Ooh, puppy and green eyes. Ooh. All right, so, uh, yeah, so we're being attacked by ghost dogs. And basically, if you do go outside, I think they attack you. Uh, get water tested ASAP. Uh, Nancy, I'm really, really sorry, but I just can't face another night here. I'm going to my aunt's in Philadelphia. Door is open. Make yourself at home. We'll call you from my car. P.S. My number is this. P.S. Do P.P.S. Don't hate me. Okay. That's a bleach. And what's this? Uh, get dead tree cut down. Okay, so she did have a plan to get the tree cut down. Poem. Okay. So, yeah, there's really not much that we can do um, till morning because there's really nothing we can do. So, let's head up to bed and go to AM. Because then, when we head outside, we can see that everything is fine. 
No more dogs. We have a water pump. That doesn't seem to be working. We have a bucket. <laughs> Here's the tree that fell down. And we have a cellar area, but the cellar is closed. And we have a thing here that tells us which way is which. We have some critters that we're going to find later. Let's see, what else do we have on the property? Oh, we have a shed. Hmm. Key. Key is always useful. And let's see, does this open? Ah. Oh, the key broke off. Ah, poop. It's locked. Hmm. We might need a crowbar or something. Alright. Yeah, and this is the boat. Oh, uh, we need the bucket to make it not full of water. We need the bucket. There we go. Ah, there we go. And a screwdriver. Nice. Let's put the bucket back. At least we know that it's always there. And, um... Oh yeah, we need to go and get things done. The spark plug is missing. Oh, okay, so we need a spark plug. So maybe our friend Red... Red? Well, not. Maybe he'll have one for us. So this is his little tree fort here. Or his blind. This must be Red's observation oh, Red, yeah. Yeah, okay, so he's not here. He's here more in the evening. Okay, so... Hmm. So we could go looking in the forest. Because one of the things that we can do is actually go find wood for the broken floorboards. So let's go trouncing through the woods. Some wood. Yeah, you gotta... I don't know why you need to be careful. I mean... We're just going through the woods. Finding some wood. Okay, so we got the log here. We got our rock. Oh, and we got a birdie over here. Yeah, one of the puzzles or tasks that you do in the game is to find different birds for red. So. So, how is everyone? Oh, we found a shoe. <laughs> Still looking. Nope, we got a rock again. Yep, we got our bird friend again. Hmm. Okay, we're at the log. Yeah, that is kind of the one thing is if you you can lose your way pretty quickly in here. 
Uh, let's go this way. Because eventually we'll come across the... Ah, fallen tree. But what I was going to say was the um, graveyard. Oh, we got a cardinal here. Okay, another dead end. Need to get back to the fallen tree. We'll turn here. We have another log. Nope. Oh, another. That's a blue jay, I think. Oh, we have a yellow ribbon. Nope. Just kind of exploring. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, we got another bird here. Yeah, we don't have what we need yet for this. Okay, I think we're close to the... Ah, graveyard. Perfect. We need that wood. There we go. Okay, we got some gravestones. Cranky. <laughs> Stench. Marbles. Stew. <laughs> yeah, and then these are the dogs. So, noting when which one was born goes to the riddle in the house. So, I'm going to get my little notebook or my little paper here. And I'm going to write down some stuff. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, we got three minutes. That's fine. Okay, so we have... So we have Vitus, who is the January... Oh, uh, born. So it would be February, so... So it's February. Xander is August. So that'd be kind of a summer. Lucy is definitely the spring, so Lucy is April. And Iggy is... Oh, no, that's not how you spell Iggy. It is November. Okay. Just gives us an idea. And... Paw prints? Paw prints? Oh, we get to go into the... Yeah, that's all we get to do, though. We get to just open the door and that's it. Uh, there's something else here, too. Snooky. Ah, here we go. This is a puzzle for later. But we can't work on it right now. So, we have two boards. Uh, I think... I think the other one should be back at the house, under that blue tarp. So let's head on back, which should be fun, trying to, trying to find our way back home. Okay, yellow ribbon. And we got the log. Nope. Falling down tree. Mm. No, Cardinal, yeah. Okay, Fallen Down Tree. Oh, Rock, there we go. Ah, there's our house. Or Sally's house. Okay, I think, yeah, I think it's under here. Aha! Okay, so we won't use those. So we got three pretty good, you know, pretty good ones. So head back inside. And we'll use them on here. And, uh, and there. Perfect. So now we can walk on it. Oh, oh, I need hammer and nails. Okay. Never mind. Well, we do have those things for the dogs. 
Oh, okay. So we'll have to do the puzzle with the dogs in later, I believe. So do stay tuned for the next video when we do uh, some fixing and talk to Red and other things and maybe more dogs. So stay tuned. This is Puzzle Pieces signing off.